When I was a fugitive, I had a bunch of different IDs and different names. Christopher Michaels, Christopher Maple, Jacob Birchfield, Samuel Ladd, Timothy Maple. I found these companies, man. They had these companies, Paladin Press, Loom Panics Unlimited. You could get their catalogs and they had like this whole section getting fake ID. Is I ordered like all these books, Reborn in America, Trent Sands, Understanding U.S. Ident Identifying Documents, this whole series called The Paper Trip. And I basically learned to, uh, you know, what they call paper trip. And um, that was like, I would get real ID from the, from the Department of Motor Vehicles. I would scour the obituaries. You want to find a candidate that died before he was five. And you wanted to find somebody that was born in one state and died in another state. From, from the obituary, I would get their name, place of death, date of death. I get those three things. I order the death certificate. Then with the obituary and the death certificate, I can get the five things that I need for the birth certificate. Place of birth, date of birth, father's full name, mother's maiden name. Once you get the birth certificate, you're pretty much home free. And to get the driver's license, you just need to verify social security number. But it's all done by a chart. I would get a W-2 form, right? And I would put that social security number and that person's name. And I'd make it seem like I worked at like some local place. Under scrutiny, the social security number would not stand up. Like if you went to a bank or you tried to open a bank, because they, uh. they would tell me straight up, they'd be like, uh, are you sure that's your right social security number? <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, I think I need to get the fuck out of here.